So this is my 90 series, it's a 97 model, 3.4 V6 petrol. Had it for about a year now. And um, yeah, she's come a long way from when I got her. I'll put some pictures in while I'm doing, doing this walk around here. So let's do a little bit of a orientation around the vehicle at the moment. Just to show you what it's like. Um, yeah, she's been fairly reliable. I've done a fair bit of work to get her back up to uh, up to scratch. As uh, yeah, she was a little bit worn out when I got her. I've done a little bit of beach work when I got it. It's not too bad. No real rust in the vehicle at all. There's a few little things I need to do to it though. But other than that, um, yeah, that's her so far. So. My most recent modification, I used to have an alloy bar on this and was not winch compatible whatsoever so I got a really good deal on this Ironman commercial deluxe bar here and I picked up the Dominator Extreme winch which is the brand new one with the modified brake on it so this is the bar I will be changing those those lights uh, down the bottom here when my finger comes in so I will be changing those fogs there uh, to LED upgrades that Iron Man do do for these bars, so that'll be something I'll be doing in the future. Um, so that's one of my recent upgrades. If we go underneath the car, I have a custom Austrax bash plate, but that bash plate goes all the way back past the transfer case of the rear, which I'll show you on the side. Um, that was done by a gentleman over in WA. His name's Nick. If anyone wants some details, I can get you the details. So you're underneath the car here, as you can see, that bash plate is very long, very protected. It's three pieces. Um, obviously, haven't used it yet. Hope not to have to use it yet. But that's it there. Um, my very first modification I done was the Safari Snorkel installed by myself. Um, got that as what you'd normally pay on the vehicle. About 330 I think it cost me that one. Um, just the King's steel roof rack up top there. Nothing to really talk about at the moment on that. I got the uh, RV storage solutions. Uh, bin bag on the back here for the spare wheel uh, for those people who don't know RV Storage Solutions was Black Widow but due to some issues uh, are no longer around Black Widow but yeah the same gentleman that ran Black Widow makes these that was uh, I think 70 bucks from a full drive show uh, awning wise I'm just running an XTM awning for the moment it's just a cheap one I picked up it's about 115 bucks from uh, BCF at the time does the job keeps me dry the wheels so the wheels are um, dynamic steel wheels uh, they're called the soft eights they're a 16 by 8 negative 22 offset on a 265 70 16 as you'll see has a little bit of poke it's not bad though but you know six out a slight little bit but not enough to catch the guard or anything so um, yeah that's all that so far I'll pop a bonnet show you the dual battery system all right also I've got to mention before I show you the dual battery system oh, I just got the King Swatties on here because they were cheap and they're on clearance so they do the job they're nice and bright haven't really used them as you see though they start they do start to yellow after a while so on those covers which is a bit near eh, average Again, they'll get upgraded later on. The vehicle's a bit dirty at the moment. It did rain last night. It was washed to do this yesterday, but the weather wasn't great and neither was I. So, um, here we go. Dual battery system. So, that's for the witch. They can sit down there. I am not running a Red Arc system at all in this vehicle. I am running what they call an Intervolt EBI Pro. So, this is it here. It's a bit dirty at the moment. So, I've wired this in myself, so I've done all the work. Um, this system here is a programmable battery isolator, so I can set the voltage it cuts in and cuts out at. Unlike the Red Arc, Red Arc SBI-12, uh, that one there is a set voltage. 
and it cuts out at 12.7. You know, I can set this to cut into what end, whatever. If I wire this up correctly with uh, some heavier duty gauge wire to my rear battery, I will be able to use this to also jump start the vehicle, which is really good. So in the rear of the vehicle is my dual battery system. It's a custom battery box I've made. Um, get it to focus, here we go. So, um, yeah, bought a switch panel off the old eBay. I converted the uh, my angle 40 litre fridge to, uh, an, to an Anderson plug. Got rid of the actual socket because it was kind of useless. Um, have my temperature gauge up here, which is just a wide one, which does the job. Just runs into the back of the fridge here. Obviously, fridge opens up. Fridge is on a slide. Just got tightened drawers in the back here, as you can probably see. So, fridge slides out. Um, I'm tall enough that I can actually get in here, no worries. So, obviously, it's not on. Hasn't been running. Nothing to really put in at the moment. Um, temporarily, I've just got my air compressor sitting there. I'm probably going to be upgrading that to maybe a TJM onboard compressor. Um, obviously, this is my water system here. I don't have that hooked up at the moment either because I haven't been anywhere lately. But, yeah, that water system there. Ooh, crap everywhere. Doing well, I know. See, this pipe just runs up into, into, into there. Bolts onto my... Um, Bolts onto my water tank, and yeah, just got my, my tap here, on and off, and if I want to just dump all my water out, just pull that back, pull it out, does the job, so no table or anything at the moment, haven't really needed it, um, in this drawer, all my recovery gear and bits and bobs, in this drawer, it's a complete mess, haven't even really decided what I'm going to put in here yet, but, um, Got a cup in there, so yeah, got bits and pieces. Got, got crap everywhere at the moment. So, um, yeah, but back to the uh, dual battery system. This actually opens up. I'd have to slide everything out to show you, but it does have a door here, and this door will swing out um, to get access to wiring. The top of this here opens up, and that allows me to get right into the battery if I need to. Um, obviously got a cargo barrier there which is a Milford one so that's all been set up to fit the dual air that I've got in here because I didn't come with the right brackets um, that's about it for the rear I'll show you a bit more inside so this is inside the uh, Prado it's got a dash mount got a quad lock phone mount which are really good these things are also wireless if your phone can handle it do come for the Samsung and the Apple products we're checking them out online. Um, just got a dash mat done by Fit My Car. Uh, what else have we got here? Got my JVC um, auto, Android Auto Head Unit, which is really good. It's all voice controlled, makes things quite handy. The vehicle is automatic. Um, this is the GME TX3200, which came with the vehicle. I do have a XRS 370C to go in, but I want to do a roof console first. Um, that's pretty much it inside, um, otherwise it's, yeah, it's just a regular old uh, Prado in here, nothing to really write home about. Obviously my antenna is the GME A4705 BTP, it's the part number, it's a twin pack um, with a heavy duty spring base, a really good antenna system, can just undo a grub screw and change the lengths out depending on what you're doing. And that's about it, really. Um, that's my vehicle. More to come. I'll be doing rock sliders. And, and yeah. I'm also running the uh, air on board recovery points underneath the vehicle here, which you can see. And I am also running a Bilstein 2-inch lift on the front. You can probably see the part number here for my front springs, which are a uh, KTFR 58HD on the front. And I just have standard 2-inch lift springs on the rear, because I'm not running anything crazy. And uh, yeah, just got a 2-inch uh, mild steel exhaust system from Manifold Back. Not running extractors or anything. 
so yeah there's a little bit of a walk around on the uh, on the old 90 series um a few more mods to come obviously i'm gonna do those rock sliders get rid of those alloy steps which i have bent and i think that's more or less it obviously back seat will come out when i go camping doing longer trips um that's really about it so so i come and check out this campsite it's not far from home it looks quite nice around here so people coming in and out at the moment so it's not too bad it's fire pits and stuff here so should be good to check out um yeah any other suggestions on what i should do to it feel free to give me a call call <laughs> give me a call let me know in the comments uh, down below thanks guys have a good one